attributed to a service sector. But nowadays, we are trying to uh, promote our uh, economic uh, uh, capacities by nurturing uh, so-called knowledge-based information-based information -based, uh, uh, industry. We are very strong now in uh, <coughs> computer-based uh, industries, uh, IT technologies, uh, production of semiconductors. Korea is one of the uh, leading countries uh, in using uh, the high-speed uh, internet services. Uh, and that's it. And also, uh, uh, at the same time, Korea is trying very hard to uh, uh, to introduce uh, the futuristic uh, industries and technologies. For example, uh, we are now uh, trying to uh, develop our processes of aeronautical uh, industries to now uh, produce uh, uh, not very uh, big planes, but we will produce planes. And uh, we even export them. We have that contract uh, with Turkish government last year to export our, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the exercise, the exercise prints. The prints will be used for exercise purposes in the military. We made a contract to export our exercise prints to uh, Turkish government. We even, uh, we even export our uh, uh, planes, our exercise planes, to the United States. <laughs> the powerhouse of uh, uh, manufacturing planes to the United States. Uh, we also have a plan to uh, to increase our capacities in space industry in the future. We have our own satellites. We have built uh, our uh, uh, satellite launching facilities in, in certain parts of our country. And uh, for the first time in coming months, we have a plan uh, to uh, to send our own men to the space, not by our own spaceship, but uh, he will be uh, carried on by, uh, I think it will be a Russian spaceship, but anyhow, it is the first time that uh, uh, Korean man will become a, uh, a, a, a spaceman. In our uh, whole history of our uh, 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 economic strife. You know, Korea, Korea has many cases, uh, like many countries. If I'm allowed to characterize the main feature of Korean society of today, I think characterize it as a dynamic society. Korea is very dynamic. Uh, and it's changing. It, even though I'm a Korean, I'm a Korean diplomat, so uh, I used to live uh, uh, overseas. So I only return home uh, from time to time. Once I set my foot in my uh, home, soil, home soil, then I myself am surprised to see all the changes. You know, if you only several months away from Korea and then return to it, then you'll find that there 
a lot of changes would have been made since then. Uh, just a couple of days ago, uh, our new government and our new president uh, uh, was in a meeting. We had a presidential election in December last year as a reserve. Uh, a new president, whose name is Mr. Lee, Lee and Bob was elected uh, as president and he was inaugurated as Korea's uh, uh, 17th president uh, uh, last Monday only. So we have a new government right now. But he, to, he seems to have some difficulties in nominating his ministers because even though uh, you are president, but uh, 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 in order to uh, uh, nominate your ministers, you need to get endorsement from the parliament. But uh, the opposition parties in the parliament uh, seem to have uh, some degree of opposition to give okay to, uh, to the nominated ministers. So, uh, although we are president, but Oh, we do not have ministers yet. <laughs> uh, so this is uh, the situation. Uh, and our new president, Lin Yan uh, is from this himself. Uh, he himself uh, is from a very poor family. Because he was extremely poor, he could not attend even the regular school. So he attended high school during his secondary school days. Uh, and he uh, uh, worked independently to uh, sustain himself in order to complete his college courses uh, uh, in his younger days. But he was diligent, and uh, his diligence and integrity uh, was the uh, locomotive uh, behind his success. Uh, he joined the well-known Hyundai Construction Company. Hyundai Construction Company was uh, one of the uh, symbolic companies in Korea in the 1970s and 80s because Hyundai construction was everywhere in the Middle East where there was a construction project for money. Mr. Lee became chairman of Hyundai construction only through his dedication and hard work and diligence. And uh, uh, as a result, uh, he was promoted to become chairman of the whole Hyundai group. So he has served uh, all in all for about 20 years for Hyundai Group as a chief executive of construction company and also as the chairman of the whole group. And after that he became politician, he became a member of parliament and also he was elected uh, as mayor of Seoul. Uh, when he served as a mayor of Seoul, he initiated very ambitious uh, uh, projects, and he successfully uh, fulfilled those subjects. So his nickname is Bulldozer. This nickname is Bulldozer. Uh, this nickname was gained uh, uh, when he was serving as chief executive of Hyundai Construction, because once uh, an assignment was given to him, he uh, worked 24 hours a day without any sleep until he accomplishes his mission. So this kind of energy and diligence got him to own nickname Bulldoja. And this nickname Bulldoja has continued while he has served as a mayor of Seoul. <laughs> Anyhow, He was uh, a nominee of 
presidential uh, uh, candidate from the opposition party named uh,
full-blown democracy uh, is there. Uh, it's a country known for not only miraculous economic development, but also recognized globally that it, it has achieved a full-blown democracy in short span of time. And behind this democracy, there were a lot of sacrifices. I can say uh, there were uh, sort of freedom fighters, uh, many students uh, were very brave uh, trying to uh, uh, fight against uh, the dictatorial militaristic regime, uh, which came. After the assassination of late President Park, that I had mentioned to you, as a forefather of our uh, economic uh, development plan, but he was assassinated in 1979. And after that, uh, military leaders uh, came to the foreground of foreign politics, and they became corrupt and dictatorial. So students uh, uh, rose uh, against them. And they uh, uh, fought very doggedly and persistently. And as a result, uh, uh, they won. So uh, uh, by, the, by the end of 1980s, uh, Corona became fully uh, democratized. As a result, now uh, uh, we have full grown democracy. Uh, the freedom of expression is is completely uh, guaranteed. Freedom uh, of press is conspicuous. We are very strong uh, press, in fact. Uh, the former president, now uh, former president, uh, Mr. Long Young, he has been really fighting with the press, the opposition press. Uh, the press has criticized each and every policy Mr. Romion has initiated. <laughs> um, there were a lot of episodes. Uh, it's uh, beyond uh, the restraint of uh, this, this lecture, this time, but uh, there were really a lot of uh, episodes in terms of fighting between President Law and the press during his presence. Also in Korea, we have very strong labor union. And uh, this is uh, basically a uh, big problem for, uh, for our economy. Because uh, as they enjoy a uh, uh, very powerful uh, uh, choices. They used to rely on uh, this power in trying to go on strike. Uh, big companies like Hyundai, uh, you know, Teo, uh, and others who have many uh, big companies, they used to have very strong militant uh, uh, labor unions. Uh, and even though the law regulates uh, the engagement of uh, uh, labor unions and activities uh, 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 to reasonable extent, uh, it's not easy. It's easier said than done. When, when the, the core issues come to ground, then this, this, it became a, a rather customary that they become uh, more violent and, uh, and, uh, and more militant rather than uh, being more patient to continue uh, uh, the negotiations with the, uh, with the company side. So uh, the powerful labor union is but still a uh, uh, certain law for inviting uh, foreign investors in Korea. 
yellow, uh, Korea, uh, in Korea, uh, in Korea's economy, uh, they become uh, more open to outside, particularly as a result of uh, the financial crisis in 1997 and 1998. As you remember, at that time, not only Korea, but many other uh, Asian nations, uh, Thailand, you know, Malaysia, Indonesia, and other nations, they were attacked fiercely by shortage of this liquidity. Uh, and the financial crisis came upon them. Uh, as a result, we simply had to rely on assistance from the IMF. That's why we call this crisis as IMF crisis. Uh, we had extremely difficult times uh, because of shortage of money, uh, even the ordinary people, they uh, bought their jewels, gold, and other precious uh, uh, vendors uh, for the public. 